Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fall backwards. What are we doing today? Making a movie. Moving a lot of furniture. Can we do a Mr. Beast cut too? To where it's like, we are moving a lot of my parents' furniture. Come on, with a shot. Into this room, and whichever counter team ever carries the most stuff out of the door gets $10,000. Could be you. What do we have to figure out? Seems reminiscent of the Margaret Fest, but we gotta attach this to this. So I'm thinking we're gonna take. <laughs> but what that means is like. All 29. Sumo. Oh yeah, dude, that's gonna do it. Yay. Whoa. Well, once again, working with Nava, uh, like we did on Margaret Fest, doing his lighting for his show. This time, we're working on a promo video for his latest album. We were aiming to recreate an older project of Nava's. Uh, it was essentially a fake interview over Zoom. This time, we're going at it with a little bit more production value. So much of this project was recreating the style. In these Charlie Rose interviews, we saw deep black backgrounds with lighting just squarely placed on the interviewer. In order to traditionally achieve this, you'd be on a sound stage, you'd have plenty of wide open space in the background. Uh, we don't really have that, but we made use of a lot of garbage bags blacking out basically every single window in frame and out of frame in the surrounding rooms, anywhere we could find those, skylights, everything. We basically had that big blacked out set that these larger productions have, and now we need to figure out the lighting. Although in a later video we'll be showing off our truss, that wasn't really an option right now. Using a photo backdrop, we jerry-rigged a pseudo truss system to hold two overhead lights over the performance. But once the lights were up, the job wasn't done. The goal is contrast. By default, most lights are gonna spill all their available light across the entire room rather than directing it on a single point. Using a lot of cardboard, gaffer's tape, grids, screens, basically anything we could find, we chopped up, directed that light to the performers rather than bouncing it off the walls. Silas. Silas. Tell them about Silas. Silas who came all the way from San Francisco to record all of the sound for us. It's wonderful to have someone so knowledgeable on set to offload that entire hefty task into his capable hands. In the end, despite a low budget and how I talked about jury rigging these systems, I'm pretty happy with the result. We were able to achieve pretty stark contrast between the performers and the background, and in the end, that's all that really matters. Are we done? I got a poop. Okay, whiny bobiny.